Hill House is is one of the most masterful pieces of art. Episode six that I've seen. Not just not just that the totality oh, of it yeah. um, is is completely devastating to me. I've watched it start to finish three different times. Um, the cast is incredible. The the payoffs that you have that you weave through it. It is it is a true piece of art. It's it's genius. And um, I'm I'm terrified that you're going to do a second season um, because How do you think I feel. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I, I am going to just trepidatiously ask you um, what we can expect from Bly Manor. Is it a continuation of? Is it something totally different? Like without giving away any sort of secrets or spoilers, just ease my mind a little bit about where you are with Bly Manor. Bly Manor. Absolutely. Uh, so it is it is uh, a completely different thing. Okay. Um, it's, it's based entirely on, uh, not just the turn of the screw by Henry James, but on a number of other Henry James stories as well. Okay. He, he actually has some really great ghost stories and we've kind of been able to fold them all into one new story. Um, you'll see a lot of familiar faces from Hill House, but they're all completely recontextualized. Okay. And, and, um, so it's, 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 it's a true anthology series now. Um, you know, I never had initially intended on uh, ever revisiting the Crane family. I, I thought we were definitively done with them. Right, right. Uh, and I was really glad to, really glad that there was not uh, any pressure to to do anything other than that when when it became clear that the show warranted a, another season. Um, I can tell you that right before, I'm talking 10 minutes before I logged on to this, um, I was in a virtual mix session where we were finishing the final sound mix on uh, the season finale. Oh, um, oh. yeah. So we're getting close. Um, so if season uh, yeah, two I, is I, delayed. It's because of how long this talk went is what you're saying. <laughs> it's because it's, they're all, they're all waiting for me to come back. <laughs> it's our fault. Yeah. And, and, and uh, season two, as I, you know, I don't expect it to be delayed one bit. We, we didn't really miss a step, believe it or not. We, we had already wrapped before the whole COVID shutdown hit all the productions. Mm. Um, we had a couple of weeks where we had to kind of figure out how to continue post remotely. Um, but my post team also, you know, who I've been with now my whole career, uh, they cracked it real fast and we've been doing everything on, on these virtual, you know, virtual sessions. Uh, and the season, um, I love it. It's, uh, it's, it evokes, a lot of things about Hill House that I that I love and am proud of, while very much being its own thing. Um, I think fans of the show, you know, you get that feeling where you're worried about like something that you like gets kind of lessened somehow. Sure. Um, if you dip back into the well, the wrong way or one mm -hmm. too many times, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a different well, and it was specifically to prevent that. So um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool though. Um, uh, I think Netflix, uh, they haven't, they haven't announced when it's coming out. They're so mysterious um, in terms of, they really are. Going. They've, they've got their own plan, but we, we've been, you know, jamming through post. It's been going great. Um, it's definitely later this year. It's okay. not going to get kicked off into, into 2021 or anything. Um, and, uh, everything's on schedule. I'm really, I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Oh my God. Um, and I want to hear what you think of it. Um, in respect to season one, because one Will of you the please come back. Can you please come back on our show when it drops? Yes, please. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we yes. would love to have you back. Um, you know, uh, Kevin mentions episode six, and everybody talks about the unbroken shot. But whenever I get to it and 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 get immersed in it, um, it's not the technicality of it; it's the performances. Like I can't imagine how much they had to memorize uh, to to deliver all the lines. You give them so much dialogue <laughs> in, in that scene. And I can't imagine how many times that they messed a line Ugh. or made you have to reset. Yeah. Well, it, it was funny. The actors, you know, they were very terrified of being the reason why we have to reset. Yeah. It almost never happened. Like oh, they, really? they were drilling that episode. You know, we had the, the script for that episode was done long before we shot the pilot. Mm. So we started rehearsing. The crew started rehearsing for that episode before we shot the pilot. And the actors would meet regularly um, while we shot the first five episodes. They'd meet on weekends and evenings to rehearse six. Wow! Okay. So it was like a, it was like a play. Yeah. Um. So so yeah, but they were to to a person. No one wanted to be the reason why a shot was abandoned because right. at a, if you drop a line or you know something goes wrong and you call cut, you just have to start over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and that was awful for all of us, like because that that episode required about 150 people 
to perform a choreographed kind of thing every take and down to like the, um, you know, some of the people that emerged as the most incredible heroes of that were like our dolly grip who had to pull yeah. off the like 175 point turn on the peewee dolly for that 17 minute take. You know, we were relying on crew members who typically aren't put in a position of that much immediate pressure. Um, where it's like, if you're pulling off just a camera move and it's, ah, we didn't get that one, we'll go back and go again. It's not yeah. a big deal. Yeah. But if you're 13 minutes into a 17 minute take, yeah. oof, the world, you know. Uh, and so. Well, Sam Mendes yeah. talked to us for 1917, Sam Mendes. And, <laughs> and he said there were certain times where you just had to be like, all right, that's good enough. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're not we, going to stop for that. This is a this is something that they might mess up in that scene anyway. So let's just roll with it, kind of thing. Oh yeah, no, and we would do the same. It, you know, we uh, I was sitting in the tent, uh, which is just off behind the wall in the funeral home for all those shots mm -hmm. uh, next to the DP, and we everything we could do is already done. Like we're powerless once action happens on a shot like that. And we would sit there, and if you saw like if you saw because grips and, and crew members were pulling chairs out of the way and putting yeah. them back and yeah. carrying bounce cards and flags and lighting cues in the ceiling. We had the hundreds of wow. cues for every shot. Um, if you saw like a crew member like, ah, for a second in the frame and ran out, <laughs> we'd look at each other like, can we paint, can we paint him out? We can paint him, yeah. keep going. And we would do this like, you know, this thing of how oh. big of a deal is it? There's in that 17 minute one, which was our, our hardest shot, you can see, um, they go up on their lines for just a second. And um, hmm. Timothy Hutton at one point stops, kind of takes a beat. He's sitting in the front of the shot. All the kids are behind him. He's starting to tell the story and he stops because he, he just tripped on the line a little. Okay. And he stops and he turns and he looks over his shoulder and he's looking at me. He's looking at the tent um, on the other side of the wall because he thought we would cut. Um, and, we and you didn't. were like, go. <laughs> but he, did, he didn't know what I knew, which was that the dolly was breaking and the chain was about to break on it. Okay. Um, and <laughs> we only had one take left uh, before the equipment was going to break down. Um, oh, my God. I didn't no know pressure. that. Yeah, I, well, I, I thought that would just kill them. That would, be the, that would be the level of pressure they'd never recover from. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, he looks back and he realizes we aren't going to cut. And he just goes, mm-hmm, and then keeps going. Uh, and there's wow, pro. Like that. that's a pro. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, totally. Uh, there's another Henry Thomas at the end of the episode and we did the logistical shot that was the hardest is the last segment, which has got all the windows breaking and the storm yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah. And we chase Henry. That's that had the elevator that brought us down mm -hmm. after all that. And we only got it right one time. It's like, we, we, we had a safety take, you know, um, he's walking to, to, uh, to the kid at one point. Um, no, it's the end of the first shot. I'm sorry, not the last one, the first one. Okay. He's walking to see little Luke and he steps on a flashlight and almost trips, uh, like almost roll. And it's completely full frame. You see his foot hit it and he kind of has to catch himself from falling um, and just rolled with it. Uh, and you Literally. see the light get kicked off. Yeah, just <laughs> kept going. And because um, he knew we were right at the end of the shot. Right. And so it's like little shit like that happened all over the place that we were just like, good enough. Um It'll be what it is. You're going to try to uh, top it in Bly Manor? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you, I can tell you <laughs> explicitly. Um, <laughs> yes, do not expect us to even attempt. <laughs> um, they're just going to... Rapid, rapid cuts, rapid cuts. Yeah. It's a Michael Bay approach <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Like I, I told him, you know, I was like, I'm not interested in ever doing that again. I feel like I, I don't have anything else to prove. <laughs> and, and, um, <laughs> and the, uh, the other directors in season two, the other big difference on season two is, you know, I'm not directing him, all of them, okay. um, which has been great. I loved it. Uh, it's been, it's such, such a weird new thing for me. Um, but producing them, you know, the other directors, a few of them would want to do long oneers, And I would be like, are you sure? Uh, because just speaking as as a executive producer and, and showrunner now, my priorities are very different. And my yeah. thing is like, I don't think you're going to make your day. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and yeah. so it, like it was it was really interesting kind of being like, I really want you guys not to actively avoid trying to go down that road this season because um, it almost killed the show last time. And I don't yeah. want to kill Bly. So um so yeah, it's it's the whole thing's very strange and and fun, but I hope you guys dig it. And I and oh, I will absolutely come back and talk about it if you want yes. to have me. 
no, uh, you, you can come back anytime you want, honestly. Uh, and we cannot wait yeah. to see Blind Manor. And and the reveal of the broken neck lady makes me cry. Ah, I mean, every yeah. single time, every single. Yeah. Time. And it's it's so it, it's now become one of those things, and I'm sure you have a few of these too, where you can't wait to show it to other people. And yeah, the minute yeah, that you yeah. get close to the reveal, like I, just, I turned to my wife and I was just <laughs> watching her reaction. <laughs> she just burst out in tears. So. 